All right, what up? So welcome to another video. Today's video, we're gonna be covering how and why we wanna train in season and why this is so important. Now, first things first is team practices are meant to develop the team, not the individual. So if you aren't working on your skills throughout the season, you're losing and leaving a lot on the table, especially as that season progresses, because you're not gonna be maintaining and developing those skills and have them when they matter most at the end of the season. And if you are training in season, that's great, but we have to make sure we're not training the exact same way that we are in the off season as we should be during the season. So we're gonna talk about both those things, why it's so important, and then how you guys can train effectively during the season so you guys can be at your best when it actually matters, which is at the end of the season when playoffs are coming around. The so first thing is obviously, why do we wanna train in season? Like I said, team practices, you're not gonna be getting the reps that you need from a lot of the practices that I've seen and been a part of as a player myself you're getting maybe 25, 50 game shots of practice. You're most likely not getting any ball handling work, any movement work, any real off the dribble work. So you're really missing out on building your skills, maintaining them, and even developing getting better as a player. So as the season goes on, a lot of times you're actually going to get worse. So if you're not maintaining those skills, you're leaving a lot on the table. And when the end of the season comes around, you're not going to be where you were when you started the season. So you don't wanna be going through a path where you start the season up here, you go down, end of the season, you're down here, now you gotta work your way back up, right? We wanna at least maintain, and ideally, we're gonna still be improving. So let's get into some practical tips that you guys can use to make sure that you're improving as the season goes on and maximizing your time while you guys are working out. So first thing that I would say is make sure that you guys are getting what you're not getting enough of in practice. So if you're a shooter and you're only getting about 25 to 50 makes a practice, you have to make sure that that's what you guys are working on on your own. If you're a point guard, you're not getting enough ball handling work, okay, you're gonna get some ball handling work, just supplement it, 10, 15 minutes makes a big difference. So number one thing, make sure you're getting what you're not already getting in practice. And one of the major problems, right, with developing your skill during the season is you have a time constraint. You have homework, you have classes, you have to travel for games, you have long practices, you have lifts, right? It's really tough to find time and even the energy to get that work in, but you have to find small pockets of time, even if it's only 20 minutes here, 30 minutes. If you guys add that up every single day, that makes a big, big difference as the season goes on, right? But you have to also make sure you're efficient with that time that you have. So in season, I would say 75% of what you guys are working on is stuff that you directly see in games. If you're a point guard and most of the action that you guys see in games is pick and roll, that's what you guys should be working on. Work on shots that you will see in games, work on actions that you're going to see in games. And then that last 25% can be expanding on the stuff that you guys already do. If you're a pick and roll player, but you're not good at certain actions, that's where you add 25% to kind of expand it. So you're still improving as the season goes on. We don't wanna always just maintain. If we can improve, great. But you have to find those small pockets of time, work on things that you're really going to see in games, right? The off season is where we really expand our game and get a whole lot better. In season, we wanna maximize the opportunities that we have get really good at the actions that we're gonna see in games and make sure we're always fine tuning that so that way we're ready once we actually get into a game. And right, like I said, with that time constraint, with the homework, with the classes, with the practice, with the travel, with the lifts, you're gonna be putting a lot of stress on your body. So it's very, very important that you're taking care of your body. You're being efficient with your work. You're not getting two hour long workouts on an off day, right? There's a lot of, especially if you guys are a high minutes player, you're playing a lot of minutes, you're putting a lot of stress on your body. You have to be as efficient as you guys can, put the least amount of stress on your body as you can, but get the most out of that work as you possibly can. So like I said, those small pockets of time, 20 minutes of work is going to be great because you're not killing your body, working another hour on top of your practices or two hours and just completely exhausting your body, right? 20, 30 minutes efficient work and be done, right? You gotta take care of your body. If you guys are more of a bench player, then go all out, do whatever you gotta do because that season is your chance to improve. You're not gonna be ready, really getting the looks in games. You're not gonna be getting the reps in practice. So you guys can do a lot more off the court than a person who's getting a ton of minutes in a game. And the other thing I would say is just, if you're not lifting, so if you're a high school player, most teams don't lift. If you're a college team, a lot of college teams even don't lift in season. So it's really important to maintain your strength for a couple of different reasons. As the season goes on, there's a lot of conditioning. So your strength levels might start here at the beginning of the season, and as you guys go on, that strength's gonna decrease. And then once playoffs come around, you're actually probably going to be at your worst. You're not gonna be very strong. You're not gonna be very explosive. You're gonna be putting yourself at a higher risk of injury, right? So if you can just at least lift a couple days a week, good amount of strength work, low intensity, and just maintain that strength throughout the whole year, 
you're going to reduce your chance of injuries and just keep your performance at the level where you guys started the season so when that playoff time comes around you guys are still at your best you're still fresh and the other biggest thing i would say is film study this is where you guys can see opportunities that you're not seeing in games if like i said you're a player who gets a lot of pick and rolls you might see that there's more opportunities to score that you don't really see on the floor there's more opportunities to get your shot off and then every game you just kind of build on that right you guys spent the whole off season working on certain skills building your ability as a player and now once you guys are in season it's a lot of film study review okay i could have used that here i could have made that pass here and it's just a lot of mental reps right it's a really great way to not put any stress on your body you're just sitting down relaxing and you're just giving your mind some work you're reviewing you're reflecting you're going to be learning a lot without putting a lot of stress on your body right that's one of the most important aspects of training in season is being efficient with your work and not just killing your body every single time if you only know how to go hard and you only just every single day you're just killing your body extra extra work as soon as the game comes around you're going to be fried you're not going to get much out of the game so it's got to be real efficient tactical work where you're getting a lot done without putting a lot on your body right so Film is one of the best ways that you guys can possibly do that. If you guys are smart with your training in the season, you guys are going to see a huge improvement. And as all these other players are just going to team practice, thinking it's enough, you're still going to be getting better. You're still going to be maintaining. So when that playoff time comes around or as the season progresses, you're still going to be fresh. You're still going to be getting better. You're going to be playing at your best while other players are starting to tank, right? And that's the difference between the great players and the average players. The great players find time to put in work on their own, continue to improve, stay fresh, and work smart. Right? I posted that last video a couple days ago about how to train smart for basketball, how to be efficient with your work. That kind of ties into this as well. But make sure you're not training the same way you would be during the season as you are in the off season. Got to be a little smarter with it. Take care of your body. Stay fresh. And if you guys are playing this season, don't take it for granted. And I hope you guys perform at your best. Appreciate you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in another video soon.